tonight on the news. Spiritual upliftment of faithful receives boost following remodeling and inauguration of Marian Grotto at St. Albert Catholic Church, Benin. Just as Archbishop of Benin... Upliftment of the faith. Catholic lawyers from within and outside Benin, including the present, the former... Good evening and welcome to the news at seven. I am Rosemary Omani. The Marian Grotto at the St. Albert Catholic Church, Ubawo, has been remodeled and pavilions built around it for the comfort of the parishioners during prayers. The Archbishop of the Benin Metropolitan See, Most Reverend Augustine Akubezi, performed the inauguration of both projects built by the parishioners. Ifoma Okafo has details. Marian Grotto is built outside the Catholic churches as a place where Catholic faithful meet with the Blessed Mother Mary in prayer and intercession. To add aesthetics to the Marian Grotto at St. Albert Catholic Church, Benin, for the spiritual upliftment of the faithful, one of the parishioners, Professor Moses Momo, remodeled the Grotto while Senator Roland Uwe and Catholic Women Organization, CWO, built the pavilions. For the benefactors, the gesture is an act of service to God. It was a good thing. That's why I said, okay, I'll come and bless it for them. So that they will come and then they name after our lady mediatrix of all Christians, who prays for all Christians, you know. So when they go there and then present their petitions to the Lord, the Lord will answer them. I made a pledge to my parish where I would worship for 50 years that I would do something physical for the church. The priest said I should do the remodeling of a grotto. So it's a good place for them, for parishioners, especially students and other parishioners, to come and have a quiet time in humble supplication to God. I'm really happy because uh, in this, you know, Catholic Church, you know the importance of the grotto of our Mother Mary to us. So this has even been done in such a way that people can sit within the pavilions and talk to our mother. Uh, all our members contributed financially and also went out to where many Nigerians around the town who contributed. And uh, at the end of the day, you can see the, go to sta the pavilion standing. Our mother Mary, her intercession is always powerful in our life. That's why we always honor her. Remodeling it is that it's going to be a source of prayer. We'll pray through her to Jesus and to God. The faithful are optimistic that their prayers will be answered at the Marian Grotto. In Benin, the former Okafo, NTA News. Catholic lawyers have been called upon to always render assistance to the church through their legal knowledge in resolving disputes when the need arises. The Archbishop of Benin Metropolitan See, Most Reverend Augustine Akubezi, made the call during the votive red mass to usher in the new legal year. I was there. <laughs>
Yes, sir. We are reminding lawyers what their role should be as Christians and as Catholic lawyers. In a very simple term, lawyers should do the right thing. Lawyers should not be an agent of oppression. We should, we should abhor corruption. We should ensure that we are seeing reconciliation so that we have a better society. President of the National Association of Catholic Lawyers, Professor Eric Okoje, advised the members to practice law with the fear of God. We must not use it as a privileged position to oppress, but to liberate the oppressed. We should liberate the oppressed, because that is what Jesus Christ came for. And we are the vessel of Jesus Christ. And to ensure too that uh, we assist the court in attaining and at, uh, kind of reaching the course of justice in everything that is done. We help indigents and people in the society. We do pro bono cases. We help, we visit the prisons to assist those that cannot uh, prepare their base. Awards for meritorious service we are presented to deserving members for their selfless services. <laughs> In Benin, Rosemary Oman. The news is being streamed live on our YouTube channel, NTA Benin. You can be part of the news online. You can also reach out to NTA Benin Newsroom on any breaking news and happenings in Edo State via the number L915-355-9648. You can also send WhatsApp messages to the same number. Time for break. Please stay with us. This is the voice of God to you all. I want to invite you to join me to worship this God who has a better plan for your life. For he told us in Jeremiah 29 11, I know the plan I have for you. I know the plan I have for you. Plan of peace. Plan of success. Plan of victory. Plan of joy. And how to bring you to expected end. You may not be living a life of hopelessness. A planless life. You think all is over. I say to you, it is not over. Join me please to worship in any branch of Christ's chosen church of God. In Nigeria, in Benin, anywhere, all over, God will only meet you and grant you your heart desires. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Next time you visit the ancient city of Benin, two things will excite you. The warmth and welcome of its people and of course, the class and style of its hospitality business. Randeki Gold, home of hospitality like no other. Located in one of the most serene environments in the ancient city. Truly classy and exquisite with world-class facilities. Fully equipped digital multipurpose hall with life-size ultra-high definition LED screen. 180 square meters king size swim pool with bubble bath. Enough to leave you breathless. The exotic Ariel's Bistro and Grill Restaurant with variety of continental dishes, especially some of the rarest delicacies you can find in town. Fact is, a visit will truly convince you that we are gold. Rendeki Gold is the gold wing of the prestigious Rendeki Royal Hotel at 6 Uhenui Street off Ihama and Boundary Roads, GRA Benin City, www.rendekihotels.com. Rendeki Gold, our hospitality is gold. Tomorrow is another Sunday. I'm inviting you and your family join us at His Glory of New Covenant Gospel Church by Edopolo Grammar School in New Benin, Benin City. Two powerful services. First is 7.30 a.m. and the second it's 9.30 a.m. Any of these will bless your life. The spirit and the bride say come.
All things are ready. Come for signs, wonders, and miracles. I look forward to having you. It's the Glow Festival of Joy, and it's raining exciting prizes. Oh, for 120 days, we we'll take it to the max. Mind blowing, loaded prizes. Done. Winning a Tia Robert Toyota Prado by recharging up to 100,000 Naira. And Sister T winning a Cha Cha Kia Picanto by recharging up to 50,000 Naira. Yes, the gifts are unloading joy all over Niger. From Toyota Prados to Kia Picantos, Kekena Pets, Generators, Sewing Machines, and even Grinder Machines. Just dial star 611 hash, choose your prizes, recharge the value for the month, and you too can win. Whoa, you too can win, oh! Lighthouse University Ewa Banusa is now calling on qualified candidates for the ongoing 2024-2025 academic session. Available programs include mass communication, political science, international relations and diplomacy, criminology and security studies, accounting, public administration, business administration, sociology, social works, microbiology, science laboratory technology, computer science, information technology, electrical electronics engineering, and computer engineering. For more information, visit the website info at lighthouseuniversity.edu.ng or call the number 0811-163-4757. The school is located at kilometer 32 Benin Asaba Expressway, Ewa Banusa, near Abudu, Edo State, Nigeria. Thanks for joining us again. There are three categories of people, about 1% of the world's population, who experience a tough time speaking. It can be so bad, no matter how hard they try, even if it means repeating sounds and syllables, blinking their eyes rapidly, nodding their heads, or tightening of fists. The word would not just come even though they perfectly know what they want to say. Who are these categories of people and how can we encourage and support them? Ramatu Abdullahi tells us more. Sunday Michael had experienced trauma at an early age in life and even though he has outgrown it, he said there are instances where it becomes pronounced in him. In the shoe especially if I vest, if I vest well well, I go shoe. If I will talk, I will talk something, I will find it very difficult. But if I then in a good mood, you can discover some stammering. Stammering is a speech condition that disrupts the normal flow of speech. It's usually common among children learning to speak, but can be outgrown. Genetics and neurogenic conditions, experts say, are causes of stammering. How should people relate with them to understand them better? and to create an environment of inclusion where they can be proud of their voices. As you see, my advice to people is that if you want to relate with someone uh, stammerer, you have to be very careful, be sensitive, and be careful, because they pick offense in everything. Because they will be thinking that because they cannot speak fluently, you are making just of them. I think I've seen other people work on it over a period of time, maybe a period of six months, one year, and it got better. It got better, and they were able to express themselves more they, they normally do feel that uh, everybody is trying to take advantage of them because they are, they are stamara. Uh -huh. So not everybody do that. Some still also um, check on them, on, um, on their walls and the rest. So they should understand that not everybody wants to take advantage of them. First, don't make them angry. Don't give them a reason to get upset to the stage they cannot talk properly. Stuttering popularly known as stammering, is a speech disorder. But the good news here is that it can actually improve with the assistance of a speech therapist. For those people who live around them, it is imperative for us to be nice to them, to tolerate them, for them to be able to communicate their ideas better. 
The International Stammering Awareness Day is a global observance dedicated to raising awareness about stammering and promote understanding and support for individuals who stammer. Ramutu Abdullahi, NTA News. Indeed, we must encourage and support these categories of persons. Wigs are taking fashion world by storm, becoming the accessory of those looking to enhance their looks effortlessly. With varieties of styles and colors available, wigs provide a fun method to showcase personal style and uniqueness. Treasure Osazua takes us through the glamours of wigs in the fashion world. The art of wig making can be dated back to the ancient Egypt. They created the wig to shield shaved hairless heads from the sun. The growing acceptance and celebration of wigs in popular culture, fueled by social media influencers and celebrities, have made them a trendy choice. This shift's perception has encouraged more people to embrace wig as a fun and fashionable option. Wigs have become increasingly popular over natural weaving. Wearing a wig can actually protect your natural hair from tension, manipulation, and environmental factors. This can lead to a healthier hair growth since you are taking a break from braiding your hair or styling it. Secondly, saving time. Wearing a wig actually takes minutes compared to braiding your hair which significantly takes a lot of time and effort. Imagine a working class lady who doesn't have time to braid her hair. Now this is where a wig comes in for her. The reason why I'm wearing a wig, it looks so simple. If I'm pulling out, I can just easily get it. So I feel more confident, I feel relaxed. Than putting on braids, you feel this down your hair and all that. So I don't like that I prefer wearing a wig. It's easy to wear. A wig can last you more than one year, two years. Wigs are now more than just a beauty tool. They represent freedom of choice and creativity in personal style. In Benin, Treasure Osazua, NTA News. In today's fast-paced world, the quest for health and well-being has never been more crucial for the young or old. Exercise is seen as the key to unlocking a better and more energized life. Hakimat Aliyu, in this report, takes a look at the benefits of staying fit while pregnant and how exercise can support a smoother pregnancy journey. Fit and expecting. This, you can say, describe most of these pregnant women who engage in regular exercise and other physical activities to stay active and healthy during pregnancy. A visit to the Federal Medical Center, Jabi Abuja shows that the exercise segment is a part of the hospital's routine during antenatal to underscore its importance for pregnant women. So when we come in the morning, we do exercise, we receive air talk that prepares ahead of the delivery. What I do at home on my own too. So coming to this place again, it helps a lot. I take walks, I try to climb staircases, I do a little bit of squats, you know. So just little exercises here and there to make the pregnancy journey easier. From boosting your mental health to improving physical strength, experts say exercise during pregnancy offers a wide range of benefits. And pregnant women are permitted to have exercise done, at least even if it's just like um, 30 minutes in a day. It can just be even a walk within your estate and you know certain house chores can also be you know, a form of exercise at home, and then um, trying not to be sedentary all through. The doctor notes that moderate exercise during pregnancy can reduce the risk of complications like gestational diabetes and help manage weight. 
there are some category of women that you know are exempted or we can actually exempt from having exercise or you know um, doing work that is um, quite demanding now some of those group of women include like um, women that uh, we have actually seen that have had that have um, threatened miscarriage while it is important to take the right precautions staying active ease discomfort and improve mood also helps expectant mothers feel strong healthier and more prepared for child birth in abuja hakimat ali nta news another break beckons don't go anywhere When it's time to buy home appliances for your convenience and comfort, think twice. Think if it's genuine, if it's affordable and reliable. Also think if it's of progressive quality. Welcome to A Progressive Electronics. Welcome to quality. For over 25 years, we've been delivering quality, tested and durable brands of TVs, fridges, freezers, air conditioners, power generators, washing machines, and more to our teaming customers. Think of the brand from Sony, Samsung, LG, Hisense, we got it all and more. Still, we deal on interior decor and furnishing items for your homes and offices. Visit our main office at number 85 Mission Road or 116 Mission Road, Benin City and be amazed by our wide range of electronics. Our interior decor showroom is at 86 Mission Road or call 0803. 358-2468 A Progressive Electronics It's progress all the way London This October, something amazing is coming It, it will change your life forever Bible Alive Believers International Convention 2024 Yes we the fear the incredible God doing wonders without number. Hap -hap 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 live Monday, 28 October to the 3rd of November 2024. 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. daily. Any Sunday, the grand finale, 7 30 a.m. or Venice, Penel Convention Center, Ohobe, Mobile Hill, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Ministry, Reverend Dr. Felix and Pastor Mrs. A.T. of Mobile. They look at the boy, Mesa, Toby, Papa I. Or receive your phone. Loretta Chudime, Kingsley Wango, Zili Agre, Benny Ragbe, Messi Chiwe, Kati and Bob Fitz, Kingsley IEK, and the Covenant Praise Choir. Yes, Bobby. Save the date, save the time, save the venue. Reveal. Whatever your occasion, whatever your requirement, Efedosa Catering Services is well equipped to cater for the catering needs of your event. With our customized menu of mouth-watering African and continental dishes, cocktails and small chops is definitely going to be a mouth-watering experience. Our well-trained and friendly chefs and staff, our royal dining arrangement is sure to make your event grand and memorable. Be it weddings reception, corporate function, anniversary parties, birthday celebration, funeral reception, we will render an event of distinction. We are into event planning and consulting services. Also, our amazing Grace Event Hall, which can provide up to 500 seating capacity for any event hosting, is sure to blow your mind. Call Efedosa Catering Services on 0807-777-7291 or visit us at 51 Airport Road, Benin City, Edo State and Peck Filling Station, Uluku Junction, Uluku, Benin City. Efedosa Catering Services, caterers of distinction. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I know this message will meet you where tomorrow is Sunday. I want to specially give you an express invitation to join me tomorrow at Omega Fire Ministry, Southern Region 2, Plot 224, Wayak Road, at Duawa, Benin City, and those states, Nigeria. Have you been believing God for miracles, testimonies? Are you believing God for the fruit of the womb? It is time for you to carry your babies. Join me at Omega Fire Ministry by 6.30 tomorrow morning. Are you that person that you are tired of the kind of life you are living? You want to renounce or give your life to Christ? You want to renounce courtesy? You want to renounce uh, robbery? You want to get out of kidnapping gag? You want to get out from that place that was tough? Why not join me tomorrow? 
I will be giving you a room to surrender your life, and I will pray for you. <laughs> oh yes, I'm Meosa Motosi. Don't roll out to new new shabby buses and Ukazi. Where country people go fit to take enjoy their journey. You want to travel from Ubini to Wari, Ubini to Abraka, Ubini to Potakoti, Ubini to Bayasa, and Ubini to Aunchi. What thing you still they wait for? Come meet us for our new party. Wait the opposite universe for to feed it after UBT 84 Ubo for Bini City. Make you come enjoy a poetization. You know, say now we be the king of the roadie because we get to experience and well train the drivers in. we go treat you like a kingy no forget to say you fit to travel with the buses and small cars for ame osa motors as customer satisfaction see. now it be our priority make you call us for 070-3020-4625 or 0813-855-0518 ame osa motors <laughs> king of the road Yes, so. so. Uh, yes, so. All the way straight yeah. to my mommy Rako. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. so. Yes, so. For quality test of material. I said, come on, my mommy Rako. Read and pay your shwebi. You know what? It's a point, oh. It's a whole C plus C plus C shwebi for my mommy Rako store. DJ. Mama Miracle Store. This one too much. Oh, see all kind of wax. Whether a London wax, Nigerian wax, high target, Hollandis, brocade, Kampala, Lazy, Yasek Bay her time. Oh, day oh, whether for one by one retail or for plenty boku buy of Jose. Mama Miracle Store. He get all boku. Make you come collect her now. No need to the hala say I want a show be. Now only 20 I see. I not see rich 50. Fa 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 oh. Mama Miracle Store. He don't get her now. Any kind of design where you want it, any amount of number where you want it, Mama Miracle Store, get them, make you walk out, enter, see them, sit down for the head office, 211 Motala Mohammed Way, the story building where Daniel Ekiosa for Teddy Secular, Mama Miracle Store, this one a big year, miracle. Welcome back to the last lap of the bulletin. The Disciplinary Board of Confederation of African Football, CAF, has awarded Nigeria three points, three points and three goals from the botched match day four encounter of the 2025 AFCON qualifiers between Libya and Nigeria, initially scheduled for Benina on 15th October. The committee found Libya guilty of breaching Article 31 of the AFCON regulations, as well as Articles 82 and 151 of the CAF Disciplinary Code. The Libya Football Federation, aside from forfeiting three points and three goals, has now been ordered to pay a fine of US of fifty thousand dollars US I beg your pardon to pay a fine of fifty thousand US dollars within sixty days. With this, the Super Eagles now have points from four games and will need only a draw in their next game to qualify for the next AFCON in Morocco. And with that, we wrap up our news bulletin for tonight. Many thanks for your time.